Hey you guys, what's up? It's me, B. Riley. Uh, just cruising around on a rainy Southern California day. And uh, I didn't have anything slated for today. I kind of had an open day and it's, 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 uh, the weather's really not great outside. Um, which I actually really like. I love rainy weather. It kind of reminds me of home. Um, but you know, there's just not a lot I could do in the garage. It's freezing cold. I can't paint anything and it's, it's just not uh, very welcoming. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to mess around uh, with something that I used to do years ago which is um, we're gonna play guitar through an old antique radio. Now you can get radios on eBay for like, I don't know, 15 to $65. And these are, sometimes they're solid state radios, but sometimes they're tube. Um, and uh, you know, one of the fantastic things about this is that uh, it's so cheap that, you know, you'd be missed not to even try it. And uh, it's nothing new. This is something that people have been doing for years. Link Ray was notorious for taking small amps and, and destroying them, basically. Uh, Keith Richards, um, on the intro for a Street Fighting Man, is actually using a tape player that he blows out and changes the speed, and that's how he gets that, that warbly modulated sound. So uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm actually cruising up Best Buy right now. Uh, I'm going to go pick up the two adapters. Should be about like five or six bucks. We'll see how much. And then... Uh, Let's see what kind of noise we can get out of one of the radios. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. I almost got hit by a car. Welcome to Best Buy. Success! I've picked up the adapter from the Best Buy, and uh, now I'm headed back home. Uh, here's a fun fact for you, for you people who are familiar with San Diego, uh, currently in Mission Valley. Ooh, spinning. Uh, a lot of people don't realize this, but actually, uh, just up until about 30 or 40 years ago, Mission Valley was the primary area where school kids used to come on field trips. This was all farms until like 10 minutes ago. All right, so after much driving around and going to Best Buy twice and then also going to the local hardware store, I actually managed to finally pick up the connector. Um, just a bit of advice for you guys. This item that you're going to buy, the little adapter that makes a, uh, a mini plug into a quarter inch plug so you can plug it into the guitar, this is a notoriously stolen item from electronic uh, shops everywhere. So if you buy one of those Best Buy packs that has like a wire and two or three adapters in it, open it up in the parking lot, go through it, and make sure that it's actually still in there. Because I just spent 45 minutes driving in the rain, and I realized that when I got back to the house, the actual adapter that I needed was actually gone. Somebody had bought it and then returned it without the adapter, kept the adapter. So just give yourselves a heads up on that one. Anyway, let's see what kind of noise we can get out of this thing. Thank you. 
to Best Buy twice because you actually opened the box up, didn't check it, and then realized that someone had already bought it and returned it and kept that one part that you needed uh, that you spend, you know, $7 on. Uh, but this works great. It's something I've been doing for years. I used to do it when I was like a teenager, you know, when tube amps were at the time kind of um, a little bit harder to get your hands on. I mean, obviously now there's an entry market with tube and valve and everything like that. Uh, but this is just kind of a great way to get some weird noises. And like I was saying before, you know, lots of artists have done this. Keith Richards has done this uh, a couple different times. Uh, Link Ray was one for using really small amps that he would deliberately destroy. You know, uh, he was a, a big, you know, proponent of kicking around an amp until it was broken and then trying to use it to record things. So it's fun to get some weird parts. And if you've got something eclectic and strange, like a funky old 60s, like, you know, a flat wound string, uh, you know, a hollow body or something like that, you could get some pretty neat noises out of stuff like this. And this sort of stuff really only goes for like 15 or $25. People are just not really using these anymore. When they're buying them, they're buying them more or less to be ornamental. Um, but when you look at the back of these things on eBay, you'll realize that some of them have phonograph inputs or even mini plug inputs where you could just buy the little adapter that goes uh, from a mini plug to a quarter inch. Uh, plug that into the guitar, plug it straight into the back of this thing, and bam, you've got an amp, uh, which is great for around the house and great for those weird eclectic sounds, you know, when you don't want the typical, when you don't want the perfect, when you want something that's unique and got some character to it. Anyway, you guys have a lovely rainy day. Uh, this is just something I was kind of doing because, uh, you know, it was either this or clean my house, and uh, this is more fun. Anyway, guys, have a beautiful afternoon. Hope you enjoyed. Um, you know, go online and look around. You might score one of these for like 20 bucks, and it's, it's kind of just fun to do. Anyway, I'll see you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>